Okay, question number one. The probability that an event will happen is 14 over 19. Find the probability that event will not happen. 14 over 19, meaning out of 19, 14 will happen. So what's the probability, what's the probability that event will not happen? So if total 19, how many will be left? If uh, 14 will happen, then 19 minus 14 over 19 will not happen, right? 5 over 19. Next, the probability that an event will happen is 0 0.17. So if the probability for event will happen 0 0.17, then the probability for event that will not happen, it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.17. 17 and that is equal 0 0.83 question number three the probability that an event will not happen will not happen this prime here meaning that will not happen is 0 0.71 we need to find the opposite probability that event will happen which means 1 minus 0 0.71 is equal 0 0.29. Okay, let's move to more interesting questions here. So what do we have? In a sample of 1,000 U.S. adults, 172 think that most celebrities are good role models. Okay, 172 out of 1,000. Two U.S., so 172, out of thousand two u.s adults are selected from this sample without replacement so if you don't replace back so first one with the two two uh, the adults right so first adults probability for first adult it's gonna be 172 out of thousand right and for the second one since we are not replacing, it says without replacement, which means uh, 1,000 will be, will be left 999, right? Once you choose one person. And from out of 7, 172 will be left 171. And if we multiply, it's going to be 0 0.172 times 0 0.171. And the answer is going to be 0 0.029. Okay, 0 0.029. The thing is, when you, uh, they say two adults are selected, which means you find probability of first one and then you find probability for the second one. When between two events you hear the word end, it's definitely going to be multiplication. Question number B. Let's see what we have. Find the probability that neither adult think most celebrities are good role models. So neither out of two. So both of them say, uh, no, it's not going to be a um, model. So to find neither at the neither one, how are we going to know? We know that 172, 172 say it's a good role model. So if uh, none of them says 172 uh, out of 1,000, what, what do you mean? How, uh, what do you think? How many will be there? Uh, it's going to be 1,000. Um, leftover people out of 172 because only 172 believe that it's uh, most celebrities but the rest 1000 minus 172 and over total 1000 it's going to be that they believe neither one neither adult think that most uh, celebrities are good role models so it's going to be 0. Eight to eight. 
okay? The other way also you can do, you uh, take 172 over 1,000. You know it's uh, 0 0.172. So 0 point, uh, at 172, uh, it's a probability for the people who believe that celebrities are good models, which means leftover, it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.172. And it's going to be equal 0 0.828. Either way, it's going to work. So, so both people now, they said um, they are not good model, which means we are taking 0 0.828, first one, and second one also said no, which means going to be 0 0.828. And the result, it's going to be 0 0.685. So 0 0.685. Now, don't take it that this uh, solution I made, it uh, must be, it's either one way or another way, either one, okay? And in the both way, you get 0 0.828, and then since both of them say, uh, no, and 800, 0.828 is a probability for no. And, uh, the, neither uh, Adults don't think they are a good uh, role models. Then you take both of them uh, to multiply by each other. Number C. Find the probability that at least one of the two adults think uh, most celebrities are good role models. So if neither of one, we found 0 0.685, then to find at least one, we are going to take one minus 0 0.685. And the answer is going to be 0 0.315. So 0 0.315. Question number five. In survey of U.S. adults with sample size of 2,098, 359 said, so 359 said Franklin Roosevelt was the best president since World War II. Two U.S. adults, so here we have two, it's very important. Two U.S. adults are selected at random from the sample without replacement this is very important also without replacement so we need to complete part a through d you know guys to understand these word problems how to solve you need to read video lecture uh, to watch video lecture about probability which is 3.1 3.2 so okay a Find the probability that both adults say Roosevelt was the best. When they say both, meaning and first one and second one. So, and when uh, the word and, and fit in this uh, statement, then it's definitely going to be multiplication. So, both of them say, uh, does agree that Roosevelt was the best president since World War II. So what's the probability of one person that said uh, the, the best? It's going to be 359. Oops, 359 over 2,898. And then the second one, also, therefore, at the, both of them agree that he was the best president. We use multiplication. But because here it says no re the replacement, so after first person, we will have total 2,097 people. And only 358 will say the best, right? Best uh, president. So because we don't replace it. Therefore, result is going to be 0 0.171 times 0 
171, because numbers are so big, it doesn't feel much difference. It's equal, 0 0.029. 0 0.029. Question B. Find the probability that neither adult, none of them, says the Franklin Roosevelt was the best. Well, if it's neither, so we know first one, if it says 359 over 2098, so it's 359 over 2098 is equal 0 0.171. Then for neither, we are going to take 1 and do minus 0 0.171. And it's going to be 0 0.829. Okay? And that this will be neither. Uh, 0 0.829. Since both of them said neither, then we take 0 0.829 multiplied by 0 0.829. And the answer is going to be 0 0.687. So 0 0.687. Okay? Question number C. For question number C, it says at least one. Every time you read at least one, you are going subtract this uh, 0 0.687 we have. We need to subtract from one. So when we have neither one, since there are two of them, and both of them said neither, so we take, take for each one, we take um, the answer, the neither, 0, 0829 and another 829. You get 6, 8, a 7, probability both said neither. Now, when it says at least 1, what you're going to do, you, you're going to take 1 and minus 0 0.687. And that will give you 0 0.313. And the answer is going to be 0 0.313. Question number E. Which event considered to be um, unusual? I would say in uh, uh, A, uh, A, A would be in unusual, which is going to be this one, uh, because the probability is less than 0 0.05. 0 point, we get 0 0.029. It's less than 0 0.05. Very unusual. Okay. Question number six. The probability that person in the United States has type B, uh, B plus blood is 9%. I mean, 0.09%. Free unrelated people, free, keep in mind, free unrelated people in the uh, United States are selected at random. Find the probability that free people have type B blood, which means and first one, and second one, and uh, third one. Okay? That all um, free will have that all three, uh, the three will have type B plot. So all three, 0 0.09. Okay, here um, I uh, messed up. It's supposed to be uh, 9%. Hold on. Let me write down. It's supposed to be 9%. Okay? Therefore, find the probability that all three, three people, meaning and first and second and third, have type B blood, which means for each one of them, it's going to be 9% chance, right? So, which means what we're going to do, 0 0.09, Time. Second one also going to be same thing, 0 0.09. And 
and then third one, 0 0.09. So how much is going to be 0 0.09 times 0 0.09 times 0 0.09, and we are getting 0 0.00729. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going to be 0 0.000729. One thing I need to tell you, I forgot to tell you earlier. When you are doing solving problem in statistics, you do not round uh, the problem because uh, the, the see how a six digits uh, decimal notation, it can affect the result. So, do not to add around it until the final answer. Okay? Next. Find the probability that none of them, it's very important, none of them, it's if all three are, uh, in the, uh, the, each one of them is 9%, then none of them is going to be 1 minus 9% is 0 0.09, right? It's going to be equal 0. 91 and then 0 0.91 since it's going to be free it's going to be 0 0.91 times 0 0.91 times 0 0.91 and result is going to be 0 0.91 times 0 0.91 and we are getting 0 0.7 Five, three, five, seven, one. So here it is. Answer is going to be uh, for B, 0 0.753571. Okay. Question number six, uh, C. So here they want to round till three, three decimals. Okay, then it's going to be 0 0.75. 4, 0 0.754, okay. Next, find the probability that at least one of them, very important, at least one of three, at least one of three has type B+. Plus. For this case, what we do, we take 1 and minus the 0 0.754, okay? 1 minus 0 0.754 is going to be 6 here, 4, and then 2 point, okay, 0 0.246. All right, and question number D. Which of the event can be considered unusual? Which over uh, event uh, can be unusual? It's uh, the one that's in uh, A, 0 0.000729. Here it is because it's less than the 0 0.05, let's say 5%. It's falling into unusual case. Okay, question number seven. In recent year, about 39% of all infants born in country were uh, conceived through uh, in vitro fertilization, uh, fertilization. And uh, about 24%, let me see, 24% resulted in multiple births. Okay. So let's find out question A. Find the probability that a randomly selected infant was conceived through IVF and was part of multiple birth. So 39%, we have about 39%, here it is. 39% is 0 0.39, right? Uh, 
and 24%, here it is, this one, 0.24%, so first 39% uh, born in country were conceived uh, via IVF. Uh, of the IVF deliveries, about 24% resulted in multiple births. So this is going to be times 0 0.24. And the answer is going to be 0 0.094. So, 0 0.094. Now, question B, the probability that randomly selected infant can conceived through IVF was not part of, part of multiple birth. So, was not, meaning this is going to be complement what we're going to do. Uh, you did to uh, one, the multiple birth was uh, 0 0.24, right? So one minus 0 point, it's not multiple birth, so it's a complement, minus 0 0.24, it's going to be 0 0.76. This is B. Moving to C, what is unusual for all this? Um, would it be unusual for a randomly selected IVF so, uh, the cycle to result in pregnancy and produce a multiple birth? No, it's not going to be unusual because the probability is not less than or equal 0 0.05. Okay? Question number... Eight. According to a study, 80% of K-12 schools or uh, districts in a country use digital content such, in, such as e-books, uh, audio books, and digital textbook. Of this 80%, 6 out of 20... So let's mark down here we need this 80% and then we need 6 out of uh, 20 of this 80% use digital content as a part of their curriculum. So we need to find the probability that a randomly selected school or district uses digital content and uses it as a part of their curriculum. So 80% we have part of is uh, using 80%, which is going to be 0 0.8. And the other part is using uh, 6 out of 20. So times 6 out of 20. So it's going to be 0 0.8 times 0 0.3. And the result will be 0 0.24. So... 0 0.24 is the answer for the first question. Actually, that's the only question for question number 8. Moving question number 9. A physics class has 40 students. Okay? Of these 18 students, so 18 out of 40, right? are physics majors and 16 students are female. Okay. Uh, of the physics majors, five are female. All right. Find the probability that randomly selected student is female or major physics major. Crucially important uh, note, when you ha it says female or physics major or between two events, you always end up with addition. If it says female and 
physics major, you end up with multiplication. Up, up to now, we were doing multiplication because it was end everywhere. Now, it's go maybe it won't literally say, says end, but uh, you, uh, you can fit the end, the, uh, the word end uh, in the explanation. Let's say if it would say, say all three students, right? You would understand. And first one, and second one, and third one, like that. Okay, so eighteen students are physics majors, so eighteen out of forty. So since we have or, we need to add, and then sixteen students are female, so plus sixteen out of 40. Of the physics major, five are female. Now, what looks what happening? This five belongs and females and major, which means with five people, students, we count it twice. Once we count it in a counting amount of students, and the other one in amount of females. So not to duplicate, we need to subtract five out of 40. And you will have similar case in the video lecture. So that means 0 0.45 plus 0 0.44 and minus 0 0.125. And the answer is going to be 0 0.725, which means 0 0.725, that means 72.5% of selected student is going to be female or physics major. Question number 10. Of the, car, uh, the, uh, of the cartoon produced by company, 5% have a puncture. 3% of the cartons, okay, I'm sorry. 5% have puncture, 3% have a smashed corner, and 0.9% have both puncture and smashed corner. See here, and, and this and that, so it's coming together. and smashed corner. Find the probability that randomly selected uh, carton has puncture or smashed corner. All right, since already we are given probability, what is gonna be, since we have or, we are adding 5%, adding this 3% that we have, here it is, because it says or, right? But uh, we have 0.9%. Where was that? Here it is. 0.9% has both, which means I'm, I need to subtract to eliminate uh, the duplicate, minus 0.9%. And that is going to give me 7.1%. Question number 11. You roll a six-sided die. Find the probability of each of the following scenarios. Roll a five or, see here we have or, which means we are going to add a number that's greater than three. So what's the probability of five? So when we're dealing with probability, it doesn't matter five, four, or three. It's what does matter how many. So we have five, which is one. Probability is going to be one over six, right? Because total we have six. And then greater than three, it's gonna be a different story. How many we have greater than three? Four, five, and six. Three of them, right? So it's gonna be plus three over six. Okay, and since they are repeating each other, 
greater than three, it's gonna, there is five also, right? And we separately found, uh, found probability of five. So I need to subtract one because this five is repeating minus one out of six and result is one half, which is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means 50%. Next, probability of it's gonna be one or two or three or four or six. Each one of them has probability one over six. That means I have one over six plus one over six plus one over six plus one over six plus one over six. And I will get five over six, which is equal to 0 0.83 or 83%. Now probability four or one or three or five. So it's going to be four times, right? One over six plus one over six plus one over six plus one over six. Why? Because each one of them is one time, right? There's one, four, one, one, one times three, one times five. So each one of them, one over six. Result is four over six, or it's going to be two over three. So, which is going to be zero point 67 or 67%. Moving to question number 12. This is what we have table. So let's read the questions. Find the probability that student is male or nursing major. So it says or, that means we need to add. So probability that student is male. Well, how, how much is our total male this much? So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 0 over total is 1,435, right? Out of total. This is our grand total. Next, sets or. So I'm going to add what is asking next. Nursing major. How much is my total nursing major? 693, correct? So I'm adding 693 over 3435 or 3435. And what is interesting here? Look, uh, when it's asking for male, student the male, here is male, right? Oops. Student is male, so it's go going horizontally. Then I have nursing major, it's coming vertically. That's where it's repeating it's each other, 93, see? 93 uh, people have nursing major and male, so 93 people repeat in this one and repeat in this one. Therefore, we need to do minus 93, it's similar to the previous problem when I said it's repeating. 3, 4, 3, 5. If you solve it, you get 0 0.498. Okay, so 0 0.498. For the B, find the probability. Let me clean this now. Find the probability. That student is female. Now I'm going to go for female. Two, three, two, five, right? Five over three, four, three, five. Uh, or not a nursing, uh, not a nursing major. So if it's not a nursing major, what is uh, um, going to be? It's going to be this one, right? Not a nursing major. So total 2742 plus 2742 over three, four, three, five. And which one is repeating here? This number, 1725, right? 
Therefore, I need to uh, subtract to eliminate duplicate. 5 over 3, 4, 3, 5. And the answer is going to be 0 0.973. How are you going to work with this fraction? Since the denominator is the same everywhere, so you're going to take 23, 25 at 27, 42, and then minus 17, 25. And at the end, divide by 34, 35. Very easy. That's the easiest way. So here we get 0 0.973. Moving to question number C. Um, find the probability that student is not female or nursing major. So we have here total female or male, right? In this table. If it's not female, if it says not female, then it means male, right? If I look to uh, this case, A, it says male, or being a nursing major, being a nursing major, which is going to be 0 0.498. Okay? Same question, it just, they redid it. Re, uh, the, instead of saying male, it says not female. And there is only male and female. If it's not female, then it's going to be male. And D, it's going to be, are these events of being male and being a nursing major mutually exclusive? Are they mutually exclusive? Which means they can be male uh, and nursing major at the same time. Let's see. Male and nursing major. Yeah, they can. 93 of them like that which means no, they are not mutually exclusive because 93 males majoring in nursing. Question number 13. So we have table here, let's go answer questions. This is our total, grand total. So find the probability that the person opposed the change or is the male, female. So what at the harm, how many people oppose the change? It's going to be 626, right? 626, let me write down. So 626 over total 1060. Or is female? Where is my female? So this is a pose. Let me highlight them. And with this color, I'll go over female. It's going to be 569 plus 569 over again 1060 and minus, minus this 307, right? It's overlapping each other. And oppose and female, so it's going to be minus 307 over 1060. So it's going to be 888 over 1060, and result is 0 0.838, which is 83.8%. Find the probability that person support uh, support the changes, change or is male. Let's clean this one. We leave only total. So, the person support the change. Where is our support? It's right here, 392. 392 over 1060. Um, or, oops, it's 1060, or is male, where is our male, right here, 491, and 160 is uh, repeating, right, 
So we do subtract 160 over 1060, and the answer is 0 0.682. See, what do we have? It's not unsure, not unsure. So we have 42, let me clean this. We have total 42 unsure. And it says not unsure, which means what I'm doing, I'm taking 1060 minus 42. The rest will be unsure, right? If I take my, uh, the minus unsure, will be rest will be not unsure over 1060, right? And then plus, it says or female because it's or we add it and female. How much is our female is here? It's going to be 569 plus 569 over. 1060 and minus how much we have um, five hundred sixty-nine it's female it says not unsure or is female so is female 569 and I'm going to do minus. So 569 minus this 30. Over 1060. Let me double check here. One second. 569 uh, minus 30 and we divide by 1060 okay yeah because it's we need not unsure one okay I, I was uh, double checking 569 minus 30 why we in previous cases we just would subtract 30 right but here we do 569 minus 30. Why? Because it says not unsure. So, so female that is not unsure, we need to take 569 minus this 30. Or you can do 232 plus 307 and over 1069. Doesn't matter either way. Okay? And that is going to be equal practically 0 0.96 plus 0 0.537 minus 0 0.508 equals 0 0.989. So here is 0 0.989. All right. So our question number D, are the events being male and support mutually exclusive male and support let's see let me clean this male oh 160 people and male and support okay oh here, here it is no because there are 160 people that are male and that support the change okay Question number 14. So we're going to solve same way the question. I'll just fly over real quick. So what do we have? Frequently being involved. Here it is, frequently involved. Or being uh, occasionally involved. Because we have or we need to add so occasionally involved here it is as you can see they are not overlapping so we are not going to subtract anything so it's going to be total it's going to be 432 
over 2862. This is our grand total. And then plus 889 is this. It's an occasionally case total over 2862. And that is equal 0 0.151 plus 0 0.3. 3, 1, 1. And the answer is going to be 0 0.462. This is going to be 0 0.462. Okay, B, find the probability that person is female or not involved. So it's female, we have female, and or, which is going to add, and not involved. Let me see. In charity, which one is not involved? Let me clean this. Female. Where is our female? Here it is. Horizontally. 1383. So we are going to have 1383 over 2862 plus not involved in charity is this one. Yes? 1541 plus 1541 over 2862. And minus, we're overlapping, minus 747, 2862. If you solve it, it's going to be 0.0. 761 0.761 question number c find the probability that person is male or frequently involved uh, in charity let me clean this so we have a probability that it's being male where is being male? Here is male. 1479, it's gonna be 1479 over 2862 plus, because it says or, being frequently involved. Where is frequently involved here? Plus 432 over 2862 and minus because we have here overlapping two two uh two six okay minus two 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 six two two six i'm sorry over two eight six two and the result is going to be zero point five eight nine Okay, 0 0.589. Question number D, find the probability that the per person is female or not frequently involved. So female, where is female? Let's clean this. Female, it's coming this way. 1383, let me write down. Over 2862. And then, not being frequently involved. So, not being frequently involved. So, frequently involved, 432 total not being frequently involved i'm going to do plus um 2862 minus because it says not frequently involved minus 432 or i can do 889 plus 1541 doesn't matter over 2862 okay not frequently involved so female and not frequently involved, we are talking about this one and this one. So we have two duplicates here, 
four thirty and seven four seven. So we are doing minus four thirty over two eight six two and minus seven four seven over two eight six two. And uh, the answer is going to be zero point nine two one. And lastly, are these events being female and being frequently involved be at a, in charity work, mutually exclusive? No, they are not. Why? Because frequently is here and the female is here. 206 are frequently involved and females here. Moving to question number 15. Determine the probability that at least two people in the room of five people share the same birthday, ignoring leap years and assuming, so five people uh, share the same birthday, ignoring leap years and assuming each birthday is equally likely by answering the following question. Compute the probability that five people have different birthdays. So five people have different birthdays. So five people have different birthdays. What is going to be? So besides the first one, if, if the first one you don't know, different, not different. So we go from second one. Because second can be equal to one, right? And third can be equal to second one and first one. So probability of second birthday plus probability of third birthday plus probability of fourth birthday and plus probability of fifth birthday. Why? Because we have five of them, five people. Okay, so what is going to be a solution? Let me move it here. I'm going to get first one. It's going to be 365 over 365, right? Can be any, right? Oh, hold on. I messed up here. It should be multiplication everywhere. Because they can repeat and first one and second one and third one, right? We can use uh, the word and therefore going to be multiplication 365 over 365 because that's f first person. It can be either way. Uh, at the first person can have any day out of 365 days and it's going to be gone anyway that's why but if it will make it easier to understand i'll do this i'll put equal probability of first one okay didn't work let me put this way multiply there we go so you can understand better. So first one, I have all 365 days, either day to be birthday. Second one will have one more less, 364 over out of 365 days. Third one is going to have 363 out of 365. And then 362, because if days are taken, then will be left less, right? Because they said it cannot be repeated. 365, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 more, 361, out of 365. So this is gone. And if you multiply, if you solve it, it's going to be 0 0.973. Okay, for B, 
the probability that at least two people out of five share a uh, five share a birthday at least two when we say at least two out of five so because here we're at least at the two out of five what we're gonna do we're gonna take one minus this hour 0 0.973 it's gonna be 0 0.027 okay or it's a 2.7 percent and the last question, which word is associated with multiplication when uh, computing probabilities? And I talked about it. Okay, I'm done. Hopefully this will be helpful and I'll see you next video.